Hi everybody, my name is Meredith. Um, I wanted to make this video because I have a lot of questions on how I organize my embroidery thread that you can use for embroidery or you can use for cross stitching. I use it primarily for cross stitching, um, but you really could use it for both avenues um, of however you do your sewing and how you enjoy to do that. Um, this is just one option. I know DMC has their way and method of how they organize their thread, um, but I feel like this is actually a better way and um, easier um, on the sewer, the person actually doing the project. So I will show you what my thread looks like throughout my project. It looks a lot like this, or it looks like this. And you can see the number of the thread is on the, that right there with the braided embroidery thread down below. Um, so how you get that is, well, first of all, let me tell you the perks of this. Okay. So the perks of this is that when you're going to, going to do your project and you're looking for number 906, the green, you have it right here and you'll take your needle and you'll put it in for one, two, or three threads, whatever you're deciding to use traditionally to typically, and you'll grab it with your thread and you can pull it right out. And that will give you the dimension of a thread that is a pretty good amount of thread to be used um, when cross stitching. It's not too long where it's gonna get tangled like crazy and it's not too short where you're gonna be changing it a million times because it's really annoying. It's kind of the perfect length. So, um, and of course you can adjust the length based off of what you experience and what your projects are like. But this is the standard that I have used for years and that I was taught. So what you're going to do is when you go buy your embroidery thread, it's going to look something like this. This is without the, sorry, without the embellishment, without the things attached. So once you take those off, so you'll take those off and you'll be ending, ending with your fat, with your embroidery thread like this. It's basically one piece of thread, one six strands of thread over and over and over again. And what you're going to do is you're going to take that and you're going to un undo it. You're going to find the end and you're going to start. What I use is my iPad case. You can use a magazine. You can use a big book, whatever you have that's convenient and near you. I switch it all the time, but for the past so many years, I've been using my iPad case and you'll start with putting the thread on one end and wrapping it, wrapping it, wrapping it around, holding that thread down till it's all on your book case, whatever. And then I'll pull it off. And then again, it'll end kind of like this, but it'll be a little longer. Um, and then what you'll do is you'll take the end, smooth it down, and you'll cut in between that bottom loop. You'll take your scissors and you'll cut between all through to that bottom loop. So what you'll end up with is with thread that is like so long, right? Then what you're going to do is you're going to pull all the huge loop through the paper that comes on it with the item number. Okay. You're going to keep that end and this end, this is DMC. You can toss that. You don't need to keep that. So you're going to put that on then on there and you're going to braid down, make sure it's really neat, really clean. Sometimes I'll full on pull them all apart, loop them, put them down and, and redo it. Just depends on what, but I keep it neat. That's the best part. Um, and your item number is available to you. So what comes with this is really beneficial is that it has this nice loop. And what I do with that loop is I, DMC has these, um, craft stores have these, you can get at Michael's home or Michael's, um, uh, Target, sorry, <laughs> Michael's or, um, Joann's or Hobby Lobby. Uh, as you can tell, Michael's is my favorite. Um, so it has this clasp. And you can kind of, you'll put them on. I usually, I, I have more of a technique, like I'll put the paper on the outside. And you can, and then you'll end up putting all your threads on. And then you can close it. And so you know your whole project is in one loop. So um, when you're working on your project, um, you'll be able to go to, okay, I'm looking for 3850. And, oh, it's right there because I can see the number, the color's right there. So it's all in one place. Um, so it's not confusing at all to you. All right, so then you do your project. Okay, so then you're done with your project. Looks beautiful, all set to go. But now you have all this embroidery thread. 
what I, I'll show you a realistic look of what my embroidery thread in mid project looks like. So this is another kind of clasp. It's a longer clasp that holds all of my thread. And as you can see, I, I like to do a rainbow effect. I just think it's easier to find um, my color. If I know I'm looking for pink, I look in the pink area, that kind of thing, my favorite color. Um, so, so now, okay, say it's the end of your project. You can see it gets really messy. It's a little messy. I don't like that to put it away like that. So what I'll do is I'll take them all off. I will unbraid them all and rebraid them, lay them out, make them look nice till they, this is a finished one. So I can clean it up and make it look nice again. Okay. So now to store them, this is okay. So this is how you do it. So number 906, what I do is I have this big embroidery basket my embroidery thread basket. And I have these plastic bags, this easy Ziploc plastic bags, and they will have, like this one has all my 800s. So all my 800 threads will go in here. And then I have, you know, what are these? These are the 700 ones. So this is 700. And then, you know, you just have more and more and more. I even have one for my specialty threads. Um, well, those ones that are like metallic that you don't get very often in things or specialty threads that certain companies put out that you have for a project. Um, I kind of keep those all together so that I know that I can go to that, uh, if I'm looking for something unique and different. Um, so what's really nice about that is then when you go to start a project, you know, um, what bags to go to. You're not digging through every single embroidery thread that you have. You can kind of go to the ones that you need. Um, now this really only works if you have one company you buy from. And most of us buy from DMC is the DMC floss. It's mostly what it's called for. Um, but if you use another brand, keep the brand separate because that's gonna, it'll only benefit you in the long run. Um, so yeah, so that's how I organize my embroidery thread. I get asked, like I said, about this a lot because it is different, um, but it works for me. And I think it'll work for you too. Um, but like I said, don't, um, make sure you don't do the metallic thread. Don't braid the metallic thread. Keep that as is. It does not braid well. Okay. Um, well, thank you so much for, um, watching. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below and also comment on like, if this, if you, if you have a way of doing things, how do you do it? How do you organize your embroidery thread? I'm really interested, um, on how you do that. Do you do the classic bobbin you know, concept, do you have a different way? Maybe you have a whole different way and I'd love to see it. So let me know. And then, um, let me know if you do try this, um, if it worked for you, if you really liked it, all that good stuff. Um, all right. Well, thank you so much and have a wonderful day and stay safe out there. Bye.